Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of the warehouse design series. Today we're going to be focusing on warehouse dock doors. So what a warehouse dock door is or garage door is a door that a tractor trailer can pull their trailer up into. That way you can offload product or you can load product onto the trailer. So most warehouses have dock doors. If it doesn't have a dock door, chances are it's a different style of retail building. But this is kind of the backbone of a warehouse as this allows product to come in and flow out of a warehouse. So with that being said, there are a couple different components to the dock doors themselves and the dock leveler. And the biggest component is the leveler in ground. So typically the leveler will be in the cement. There'll be kind of, it'll be almost underground. And what the leveler does is it creates a bridge or a mini bridge from the warehouse into the tractor trailer. This is important because when a forklift needs to get in the trailer, it needs to be able to drive to the end of it, pull product out and come back in. And when a tractor trailer backs up into the dock door, there's about a foot gap between the trailer door and the warehouse itself. So there needs to be this kind of mini bridge and that's what a dock leveler does. They can either be automatic or in older buildings, they can be manual. And actually newer buildings have manual ones as well. That's just the cheaper option. And within the dock door, there's also the garage door that slides up. These typically have components protecting the guide rails for the door itself. And there are typically bumper pads on the exterior of the wall so the tractor trailer can bump into them when they're backing up and then dock their trailer. All right, so I know I just spit a lot of information about dock doors to you. Some of it you may want to know, some of it you may not. But let's get into actually putting the dock doors in the building itself. All right, before we jump into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you find the video helpful, want to see a part three, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see something in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. I'm always looking to make new videos, so any ideas I can get from the comments sections are always helpful. All right, so we're going to start off this part of the video by just showing you what a dock door looks like in AutoCAD. There are different sizes for dock doors. They're not all uniform completely, but for this video, we've got a dock door and we've got the dock leveler along with the bumper pads on the outside and the guide rail protectors on the inside. So this big rectangular portion here is the dock leveler itself. That's what's in the ground. You have this area right here, which is the door. You have the two little things on the side, which are the door um, guide rail protectors. And then you have the exterior bumpers on the outside of the door. All right, so now we're going to actually put the dock doors into the warehouse itself. And the first thing we're going to do is actually change the color of these little pieces. So these are going to be the little guardrails. And typically in a warehouse, they're going to be some sort of yellow. And I want to change that real quick before we do anything else. So I'm going to change those. Go up here. We're going to change those to the color of yellow. Now we are going to rotate our entire garage door and we are going to do that, specify the base point, doesn't really matter, about 270 degrees. So now I'm ready to bring it over and we're going to just make a copy of it right now. And I'm going to bring it over to my warehouse. Now I want two doors in this wall right here, in this wall, this wall, and this wall. So that's eight doors total. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to bring this down six inches or six feet, excuse me, and click enter. We're going to do six feet off of the uh, building columns themselves. And typically in warehouses, I've seen dock doors placed right next to each other. I've seen them uh, spread out. I've, you know, kind of seen it all over the place. So there's not really a right or wrong way to do it. It just really depends on the building. So we're going to move this. We're actually going to copy it. And we want to grab it by this corner. And we're going to move it right here. Cancel. And then I'm going to come down here to this same column. And we're going to go up six feet. Click Enter. And you'll notice too that this is a white line and this is gray and that's because these building walls and these columns are locked so it makes it a little bit easier to see. We're going to come up here. We're going to move this one 
and we're going to grab it from this corner this time. And we're going to place it in the wall. Now, these dock doors already had a prefab wall created in them, and it was 10 inches. If you're pulling in from a block somewhere, you may need to uh, scale it down. And I actually, I actually have a great video that you can watch, and I'll link it up in the corner. But if you want to see how to scale a block down to fit your drawing, check that video out. So the next thing we're going to do is actually we're going to come here, and we are going to select all of this. Now, it's showing me that I've selected the uh, exterior wall, but that won't actually move because it's locked. So we are going to copy this selection, and we're going to take it from this line. And as you can see, the wall did not move or copy. And we're going to bring it down to this one. And since we wanted eight total, we're going to do it again to this building column. And then we're going to do it again to this building column, and we're going to cancel. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight doors now on this side of the warehouse. Now for this warehouse, we also want eight doors on this side because we're bringing product in and then it has to get shipped out almost like a cross dock. So we are going to go ahead and it, since everything's locked, we can just come down here. We're going to select it all and we're going to make another copy. We're going to come over here. We're going to click enter. And I'm actually going to delete all of these lines out real quick. I'm not going to delete the top one. You'll see in a second why not. But we're going to come over here, and they're facing the wrong way, so we're going to select them all. We're going to rotate them 180 degrees. Click Enter, and we are going to select them all again and move them. And as you can see, I didn't delete this line because we're going to use that line as a uh, base point when we move these. So we're going to come here and bring it down to right there. And as you can see now, we have eight dock doors on this side, eight dock doors on this side that match up. You can also use the mirror function to move the dock doors. I just find it easier to copy and rotate. Um, but realistically, that is up to you and what your preference is. All right, so the final thing we're going to do for this video is we're actually going to create a layer for the dock door. So we're going to put all of the dock doors onto one layer. And to do this, we're going to come up to Layer Properties. And we're going to right-click and create a new layer. We're going to call that layer Dock Doors. And hit Enter. And then we're actually going to close the Layer Properties tab. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to select the first dock door. We're going to right click, click to select similar. And as you can see, it selected all of the uh, dock doors that exist. And we're going to come up here and we are going to click the dock doors layer. And now they are all highlighted. We're going to escape. And as you can see, when I click on the dock door, the dock doors layer up here shows. So. They are all on that layer, and we are actually, since the dock doors are a specific part of the building that we don't ever want moved, they're built into the building, we are going to lock that layer as well so it can't be moved or touched. So that's going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. Again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.